Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is the cube root of x plus 28 minus the cube root of x minus 28, this is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. The first step is that we can let the cube root of x plus 28 be equal to a. And we can also let the cube root of x minus 28 be equal to b. So this implies that a minus b, this is equal to 2. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that the cube root of x plus 28, this is equal to, to a. So to eliminate the cube root sign here, let's raise this to the power of 3. And also on the other side, we have a to the power of 3. So let's eliminate this, the cube root sign here so that we have x plus 28. This is equal to a to the power of 3. We also have the cube root of x subtract 28. This is equal to b. So to eliminate this cube root sign here, we raise both signs to the power of 3. Now we eliminate the cube root sign here so that we have x minus 28. This is equal to b to the power of 3. Now, this implies that we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is equal to x plus 28. Subtract, we have x minus 28. So this implies that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is equal to x plus 28 minus x then plus 28. So we have that x minus x, this simplifies, so that we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is equal to 28 plus 28, this is equal to 56. Now, let's call this equation 2. From this equation here, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the difference of two cubes that we can express as a minus b. Into the parentheses, this is a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared, this is equal to 56. Now, a minus b, this is what we have in equation 1. Equation 1, we have a minus b, this is equal to 2. So let's substitute this 2 here. So we have 2 multiplied by a squared plus a times b, then plus b squared, this is equal to 56. We can divide both signs by 2, so that now we have a squared plus a times b plus b squared, this is equal to 56 divided by 2, this is equal to 28. Now we have that equation 1 is a minus b, this is equal to 2. So let's square on both sides, so that now here we have a squared minus 2ab, then plus b squared, this is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. So we have a squared plus a times b plus b squared, this is equal to 28. And we have that a squared minus 2ab, then plus b squared, this is equal to 4. Now these are systems of two linear equations, so let's subtract these two equations here. a squared minus a squared, this is equal to 0. We have that ab minus minus 2ab. This is 3ab, then b squared minus b squared, this is equal to 0, and this is equal to 28 minus 4, and this is 24. So that now, we have 3 times ab, this is equal to 24. So let's divide both sides by 3, so that now, we have that a times b, this is equal to 24 over 3, which is 8. So we can make a to be the subject of the formula, so let's divide both sides by b. So that now we have that a is equal to 8 over b. Now, let's call this equation 3. 
So from equation 1, which is a minus b, this is equal to 2. Let's substitute a, which is 8 over b. So we have 8 over b minus b. This is equal to 2. So we have that b is our number, so this is a 1, and 2 is our number, this is a 1. So let's multiply everything by b, so that now we have 8, subtract b times b, this is b squared, this is equal to 2 times b, this is 2b. Let's stick 2b on the left hand side, so that we have 8 minus b squared minus 2b, this is equal to 0. Now, let's rearrange this equation. We have minus b squared minus 2b plus 8. This is equal to 0. Now, we have minus b squared minus 2b plus 8. Let's divide both signs by minus 1. Minus b squared divided by minus 1. This is b squared minus 2b divided by minus 1. This is plus 2b. Then plus 8 divided by minus 1. This is minus 8. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation, which we can solve by factorization. We have the product is minus 8, sum is equal to 2. So we can identify two factors, that if you multiply those two factors, you get minus 8, and we sum these two factors, we have a value of 2. So now, we have b squared plus 4b subtract 2b, then subtract 8, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. Now from the first part here, b is common here. We can factor out b so that we have b plus 4 minus, here we have 2 is common. So we have 2 into the parentheses. This is b plus 4. This is equal to 0. So here we have b minus 2, then we have b plus 4, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here, we have b minus 2, this is equal to 0, and we have b plus 4, this is equal to 0. So we have b1 is equal to 2, and we have b2, this is equal to minus 4. Now, if you recall, from equation 3, which is, we have that A is equal to 8 over B. So, we can solve for A1, which is equal to 8 over B, which is 2. And this means that 8 divided by 2, this is equal to 4. So that we have A1, comma B1, this is equal to 4, comma, 2. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let the cube root of x plus 28 be equal to a, and we have that the cube root of x minus 28, this is equal to b. Now, we have the cube root of x plus 28, this is equal to a. Now, here we have to eliminate the cube root here, let's trace this to the power of 3 on both sides, so that now, here we have x plus 28, this is equal to a to the power of 3. Now, we have that a is equal to 4, so that we have x plus 28, this is equal to 4 to the power of 3. So we have x plus 28, this is equal to 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 64. So let's take 28 on the right hand side, so that we have x here, that is x1, is equal to 64, minus 28. And we have that, this is 64, minus 28. And this implies that we have x1, this is equal to 36. Now we have also that the cube root of x subtract 28, this is equal to b. Let's eliminate the cube root sign here. 
let's cube on both sides so that now here we have x minus 28 this is equal to b to the power of 3 so we have x minus 28 this is equal to b b is 2 to the power of 3 so that x minus 28 this is equal to 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 now let's take minus 28 on the right hand side so that we have x2 this is the same thing as 8 plus 28 and we have that x2 is equal to 36 now let's verify let's verify that x equal to 36 satisfies the equation now let's verify that x equal to 36 satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that the cube root of x plus 28 subtract the cube root of x minus 28 this is supposed to give us a value of 2 now let's substitute x equal to 36 so we have the cube root of 36 plus 28 subtract the cube root of 36 subtract 28 this is supposed to give us a value of 2 so we have the cube root of 36 plus 28 this is 64 we have 36 plus 28 this is 64 then subtract the cube root of 36 minus 28 which is 8 this should give us a value of 2 the cube root of 64 this is the same thing as 4 minus the cube root of 8 which is 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 2 4 minus 2 this is 2 which is equal to 2 so this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of x which is 36 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and country subscribe like this video and country subscribe see you in the next video